Hey everyone, welcome back to Racky Guys. In our last video, we did a pretty quick unboxing and a little bit of a rundown of some of the important features of the Hydrogen Sports Proton Ball Machine. Uh, but in today's video, we're actually gonna give you a much more in-depth uh, look at all the features and all the functions that come with the Proton. Uh, we're gonna have some fun with it. We've been playing with it for a couple weeks. Uh, so we're also gonna give you a bit of uh, information about some of the really cool and really neat things that uh, I really like about the machine. Um, and as well at the end, we're gonna do a fun little competition between me, Jordan, and Javid, and see who can handle a relatively difficult drill that I created in the Proton app. And uh, let's get started. All right, now I'm here with the Proton, nice and set up with a couple of balls in the hopper. The hopper holds up to 100 balls. We put in a pretty decent amount here just to give it a quick test. Proton is super simple to start. All you have to do is open the Proton Control app on your phone, turn on the Proton. Once it turns on, hit the little icon at the top right, hit connect to Proton, and then your Proton should show up in the list. All you have to do is select that machine. It's gonna connect and you're ready to go. From here, it's as simple as picking a drill that you wanna do or a quick start drill if you want. Uh, there's also a ton of built-in programs as well. Uh, you can also do single shot mode if you wanna just pick a shot and work on something very specific. Uh, that mode is really good for coaches who are just wanting to feed a specific ball exactly when they want. For all of the pre-built-in drills, all the warm-up stuff, the quick start stuff, and the pre-built-in programs, you actually do need to be set up already at the back um, or wherever the Proton actually tells you to be set up. In this case, we're gonna do a little bit of single shot mode. Here, we can actually tell it exactly where the Proton is set up so it knows where it's shooting from. Uh, in this case, we're set up right next to the service line for a little bit more of a softer shot. So we're gonna tell it that we're at the service box. Now, based on what it was already set on for speed and spin, it's actually already telling me that, hey, this shot is impossible that you've selected. So let's maybe go a little deeper. We're gonna add some top spin. Let's go 1500 RPMs. And we're gonna lower the speed to 70 kilometers an hour. Cool, once we've done that, you just hit start. Machine's gonna fire up. It's gonna adjust itself to be exactly where it needs to be. And again, we're in single shot mode, so we have total control over when it shoots. So I'm gonna hit fire, and it's gonna fire the ball. Exactly where I aimed it, nice and deep to the baseline. If I wanna hit this now, let's go deep into the ad side corner. I just have to select that spot. Again, hit fire and it lands where I'm aiming. Maybe let's go to the do side corner now. All I do is select do side corner, it adjusts and it hits fire. Just that simple. All right, now that you kinda of know how it works, I'm gonna head on over there, I'm gonna hit some balls and uh, let's see how good the quality is, let's see how consistent it is. Uh, let's have some fun. Nice and easy, right up the middle. Uh, right now, like I said earlier, we have it set up at the tee, so this is really good place to put it for a coach who's maybe working with juniors uh, or someone a little newer, because the ball does come out a little softer, a little easier to time. Uh, it doesn't have quite the same speed that it might otherwise have. That one was a little deep. Um, the one nice, really, really nice feature I find, especially when doing drills, is that the Proton will actually blink at you to let you know that the next ball is coming so you're able to prepare correctly and actually do a split step. Uh, however, when you're doing single shot mode like this, you're not gonna see that. As this mode is more meant for you know, a coach who wants to hit a specific feed and maybe stand beside his student, as they're hitting to give them tips. Uh, it also gives them obviously full control over when the ball shoots, uh, as opposed to the drills where it's all timed. Uh, right now we got Java just kind of shooting the ball over the place. Let me guess and see what's happening. Uh, so far it seems super consistent and really easy to use actually. You know, it gives me a chance to work on my one-handed backhand just for so now that we've done single shot mode a little bit, just to kind of show you how easy it is to pick different shots. Uh, now we're gonna do one of the drills to show you how quick and easy it is to turn on a drill and get this thing working. So uh, I'm gonna do one of the built-in programs. Uh, with Again, with the built-in programs, you do have to have the ball in the set location. In this case, the drill wants the ball machine to be set back here by the baseline. So that's where we've set it. 
Um, and for the fun of it, seeing as I really need to work on my volleys, we are gonna do the rally approach and volley drill. Um, this is gonna shoot one to the outside, one kind of up the middle, one a little shorter, and then one to give me a volley. Uh, so I'm gonna head on down to the other side of the court and we'll get this started. I'm gonna hit start and we'll get this drill going. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's why I got to work on my volleys. So again, just to show you how easy it is to start up a drill, we're going to start Marisabelle with a nice, easy warm up here. So we're going to have her doing approximately three quarter court. Um, nice, easy warm up drill, just a little bit of left to right. Nothing crazy, just to get her warmed up. So let's hit start. All right, and it should be any second now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, nice easy warm up. Nice. I guess I'm also a bit of a target with standing over here, aren't I? <laughs> All right, so let her do a couple more shots and then maybe we'll up the difficulty level a little bit. See what Mirzabelle can handle. And last shot. Nice. All right. So that was the easy warm-up drill. It's like three-quarter court-ish, nice and easy, not a ton of movement, but it's a, again, it's a warm-up, nice and easy. Now let's try throwing her into one of the built-in programs. So let's do the easy side-to-side. -side. Um, again, it's kind of about three-quarter court, but there's definitely a lot more side-to-side -side movement here. So you're definitely gonna be moving a little more on this one, all right? Ready? All right, let's get started, here we go. <laughs> Cheating right off the start. I like it. Yeah, nice. And now that we're using the pre-made drills, one of the really nice things about the Proton is that it does have uh, a little light on the front that blinks really fast right before it shoots the ball. So just like in a regular rally, you have that little bit of warning before the other player actually makes contact because you can see them swinging. Here, it kind of simulates that with the light, so you are able to split step correctly and actually be in position instead of really feeling like you're cheating um, on your positioning a little bit. Like I said, a little more movement than the warm-up drill, but still nice and easy. And we'll do the last shot, and we'll turn the machine off. Awesome. So I created a relatively difficult little drill here for me, Jordan, and Javid to Kind of see who's going to survive. Uh, so we have four shots here. We have one, the first shot is deep into the forehand corner. We're all right-handed, so deep into the deuce side corner, I guess. Uh, going 90 kilometers an hour, 1500 RPMs of topspin. Then we have another shot that's just off the center line on the ad side. Again, same speed, 90 kilometers an hour, same topspin, but just a bit of different ball placement. For a little bit of fun, we added a spicy little drop shot into the forehand, uh, forehand side on the deuce side. And then just to sort of maybe give us something a little bit easier while we're recovering, there's another shot on the deuce side where it's about mid court at about 75 kilometers an hour. And it, just to really make it difficult, this is all in random order with about the most minimal amount of delay in between each shot as possible. So this should force all of us to recover right back to the middle constantly uh, and also to have to run a ton. So let's see who survives. All right, so we're gonna throw Java through the drill here, see how he survives. Uh, he wanted me to remind everyone that he's doing this on no warm-up whatsoever, so feel free to let him know in the comments uh, exactly what you think about that. Oh, all right, looking pretty good over there. Uh, the shots in this drill are coming out kind of in random order. So, should be fairly difficult for him. 
Uh, but I mean, if you get lucky and you get some nice easy ones all in a row, like Java seems to be getting. All right, so after Javid's pretty reasonable outing, uh, I'm gonna give myself a shot and see how I handle this drill. Uh, get ready to hear some huffing and puffing and uh, let's go. Oh, nice, easy one to start, I like that. Two in a row, okay. That was a bit tough. Oh, it's gonna be another one. Whoa, that was really deep. A lively ball. Oh. You no, know, maybe Java was right, and that doing this on no warm up is pretty tough. Oh. Wide. Oh, God. Nice. Pretty solid showing, a nice eight. Definitely pretty tough. Uh, one thing I've learned, and this is kind of true with all ball machines, is that when you're using any kind of ball machine, if you get a really lively ball, sometimes it comes out a little hotter out of the machine than you expect. So there's one ball there that landed a little deeper than I thought it was going to. But that was a pretty tough drill. Lots of speed, lots of spin. Let's see how Jordan does. Time for Jordan's uh, turn for torture. Let's see if he can outdo either me or Javid. All right, here we go. 12 balls. 12 balls, 12 see what happens. Out. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh. That's good. Those, uh, that uh, faster one always kind of catches you off guard when you're not waiting said, for I'm it. Not yeah. Three. Oh, oh okay. Let's sure I've got hands. Wow, I mean that slice is pretty good looking. Six for six. Oh. A seven. Oh missing. yeah, I think uh, there it is. think we're probably not beating them, man. No. Oh, yeah. Finally. See, there's that lively ball. Once in a while, you get a really, really deep one. Yeah, I think this is his last one here. And one more for good one luck, just because we luck. like just him so good. much. Nice. Jordan definitely beat us on that one. Doesn't take, uh, doesn't take much math to understand that he did more than eight. So good for you, Jordan. For all you fellow Canadians out there, you can get this exclusively in store or online at our Racky Guys website. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you want to see us do anything with the Hydrogen Sports Proton ball machine, let us know down in the comments below. And please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification button to keep up with all our latest content. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.